Hi, welcome to uh, my first five minute finding. Uh, I'm going to be starting this new series where I will be talking about some of my research and I'm actually going to get some friends and colleagues to come uh, to record videos talking about their research and basically trying to summarize an important research finding in about five minutes. So today I'm going to talk about my research in nicotine withdrawal or tobacco abstinence. And what we found to preview is that people who are trying to quit smoking, uh, who are withdrawing from nicotine, uh, tend to have pretty significant difficulties uh, with their cognitive functioning and with their memory performance. And there is a biological reason for that. Nicotine causes structural changes uh, and neurochemical changes in the hippocampus, which is the part of the brain responsible for memory. And when uh, people who have smoked fairly heavily are withdrawing from nicotine, it causes a disruption in that neurochemical processes that results in memory impairment associated with a neurotransmitter called GABA. So I first got involved in this research uh, with uh, Elliot Hirschman. Uh, that was when he was at the University of Colorado, Denver. In uh, 2002 is when we were conducting this research. I believe it was published in 2004 in Experimental and Clinical Psychopharmacology. And basically, uh, we got a group of participants who were relatively heavy smokers. Uh, asked them uh, to come into the laboratory on two different occasions. Once when they were smoking normally, we called it the ad libitum condition, uh, which is uh, ab as normal, smoking as normal. Uh, then uh, second time they came in, we asked them to abstain from smoking for 24 hours. We call that the abstinent condition. We verify their tobacco abstinence by measuring the amount of carbon monoxide in their breath. You can actually measure uh, how much carbon monoxide uh, smokers have. It's much higher than people who haven't been smoking recently. And in that first study we found that participants had pretty significantly reduced memory performance but also some disruptions in attention using a vigilance task. And so uh, in a vigilance task their participants simply respond uh, if a target is present and the target doesn't show up very often and they were a little bit uh, less likely to respond correctly and they were much uh, slower in their reaction times. So in a follow-up experiment, uh, we looked at the intersection between attention and memory. And so and in this study, uh, participants again, same design, um, came in having smoked as they normally do versus having been abstinent for 24 hours, uh, were tested on a variety of cognitive uh, tasks. And what we found is, again, a significant reduction in memory performance. Uh, but this time, we also looked at whether or not they were studying uh, words under full attention versus divided attention. And essentially what we found is that um, there was a potential contribution of um, tobacco absence to memory but that it wasn't related to attention. In fact, um, across our full versus divided attention conditions, uh, tobacco abstinence suppressed memory uh, in similar amounts across those two conditions. And so our conclusions were that the reductions in memory were not caused by uh, some function of attention, but actually by a, a clear reduction in performance uh, in memory itself. Interestingly, we found evidence for uh, potential gender differences in our male participants, uh, the, their memory performance was similar for full and divided attention um, in the abstinent condition, that is, it was terrible, uh, whereas in the ad libitum condition, uh, they performed very well under full attention uh, and very poorly under divided attention. In fact, their full attention performance in the abstinent condition, that is, when they um, hadn't been smoking, was the same uh, as it was under divided attention when they uh, had been smoking. And so essentially what we show in those males is that withdrawing from cigarettes has the same effect on memory as dividing their attention. So that's a pretty significant finding. What we found in our females is that performance was um, equivalent across the ad libitum and abstinent conditions uh, for full attention, but they showed massive de or pretty significant de decrements in performance in divided attention and abstinent conditions. So withdrawing from cigarettes seemed to affect uh, female participants more when they were having to divide their attention, uh, but affected male participants more under f conditions of full attention. Again, that was a, a preliminary uh, finding 
but a significant one nonetheless. Uh, we found no effects on short-term memory, but all of our effects were in long-term memory. So in the future, what we need to determine is how we can support participants, or sorry, support patients who are trying to withdraw from nicotine uh, during that kind of abstinent period. So it's an important bit of research that needs some follow-up, and hopefully we'll do so uh, eventually. Hopefully you've enjoyed this quick five minutes on my research on nicotine with